Check me out everybody, I'm out on my wife's 2008 Aprilia 10th anniversary factory Gen 2. The bike's ultimately reliable, we've never never had any problems with this at all. My wife's rode it more than I have, it's her bike. Um, could do that rear shock, raising up slightly. I'm a little bit cautious when I'm out here because it's still cold and the roads do feel a little bit greasy. Uh, where, was, where was I? Where was I? The bike's ultimately reliable. We fired this bike up, kept it on trickle charge obviously for its entire life. And it's never missed a beat. It's fired up, it's been stood for like, I'd say at least, let's say six months it's been stood and not fired. We fired the bike up, it just fires up like it's been run about an hour ago. It doesn't miss a beat, splutter, cough, nothing like that. Um, easy to service, as Aprilia's are. Very, very easy to service once you get your head around the oil changing, stuff like that. They are a little bit different. There's a lot of parts out there for these, but we've not really bought any other parts for it other than service parts. They're, they're very well engineered, well designed quality, the feel quality, and you can feel that quality riding it. The bike despite how hot it can get become, the engine characteristics don't change at all. Um, the brakes are so powerful. Lots of people have had trouble with the rear brake on these. Apparently the rumor is that it gets, the, because of the headers it gets hot. The exhaust pipes get hot and start to boil up the fluid, something like that. Um, that's what I've heard. I could stop solely on the back brake. I've never had problems with the back brake on this at all. The front brake will most certainly put you on your bum if you give that a squeeze too far. But the other thing about this bike as well, it's super comfortable, so it's ultra comfortable and everything's so adjustable on it. You can adjust the levers wherever you want them, but you can adjust these levers exactly anywhere you want. The handlebars are nice, the nice length to them. So there's plenty of room on here for extra switches if you want to add something else to it. The bike's smooth, it's warm as well, The uh, especially this time of year. You, you ride this bike, I can feel. I wish it would get a little bit warmer, actually. <laughs> I wish it would run about 80 degrees or 85. Um, we get a lot of heat from those exhausts coming straight through your feet and it is lovely and toasty. I can even rest my heels on the, um, on the exhaust, the end cans. It's such a comfortable position for my legs. It picks up very smooth and powerful, but I'm, I'm only giving it this much throttle. I'm only giving it tiny bits of throttle. I'm not going all the way with it. I feel like it might lift that front end, but the other thing is about this. Um, it doesn't seem to, unless you, you're good at pulling wheelies, which I am not, by the way. I can do it on a dirt bike, but not on a road bike. Um, if you are good at pulling wheelies, then I think you will be able to do it on this quite easily. But it's not like most powerful bikes where you wind down on that front end just lifts up. It actually drives forward. It sticks to the road and drives forward. The bumps as well, the, the suspension on the bike, Ollins front and rear. Ollins is awesome. So much awesomeness in Ollins suspension. Um, it, when, you, when you're on the road on most of these sports bikes, you feel, you get back pains, you get slammed and smashed, in, the seat smashes into your ass. Uh, if you like that sort of thing, then go get yourself an 1198. Um, but the Aprilia seem to 
I seem to handle all the, the British roads quite well. Such an highly impressive machine this. I do feel uh, yeah the rear shock just wants to raise it up a little bit more get that sag right but it's a very very addictive bike to ride the gearbox is very precise on it can I turn yeah, yes I can the gearbox has got like um, I won't say it's smooth but it's got a really accurate accurate click to it it's hard to describe it feels different to any other bike um, one thing about these is you need to get it's quite complex as a clutch system in these um, you need to get the oil level correct you need to get the oil type correct and you also need to get that free play set correctly I would always recommend with these bikes is stick to standard levers do not get aftermarket levers the standard levers for the brakes and clutch on this system works perfectly so always stick to that that is my advice but this brake it's really I wouldn't say it's an absolute effortless gearbox but it's a gearbox where you won't miss a shift it's it's very accurate and mo most bikes with it some have a link most bikes with a linkage gear selector which I do like a linkage you get a little bit of float and play sometimes or miss a shift with a linkage whereas this is like a, a dirt bike gearbox you know it's um straight onto the onto the selector shaft itself the engine braking is not too fierce engine braking is not too fierce at all on this bike Yeah, definitely will not rear shocker sorting out. With a little bit more uh, front end lift there, and I wasn't giving it full whack. You would not believe how happy I feel with nice warm feet. New Miller Dam we're heading for now. Nice pub here on the left, good food. Fox and Hounds. My um, uncle used to run this pub actually. Not been here for a while. Fox and Hounds pub there. You can see the sun's been out today. Everyone's out with the doggies. Ooh, it's just full here. I'll tell you what, when you're going through, um, when you got noise reflection from buildings, this engine sounds mean. It sounds big and mean. But saying that throttle like this, uh, if I was on the, I'm comparing it to the 1198. As soon as you blip that throttle, 1198, it just takes off. It used to just want to go. You could barely uh, cruise around on it. It did improve the bike when I put a 17 tooth sprocket on the front, it really did um, make it more comfortable when you're doing 30. But this one, you can just set the throttle, it's really, it's just progressive, it won't do anything more than what you want it to. And I've gone through some bumpy roads on this, I mean, it, some of these roads, you drive down here in the car you, and you can't see these bumps but they seem to... Uh, seem to jig you around a little bit whereas on this it absorbs everything very well but yet the suspension it's not stiff but it handles very well into the corners I need to turn around somewhere and go back the way I've came around here in fact you know I'll go up here turn around here can he do it can he turn it around look at that it's beautiful beautiful turn Right, let's find neutral. Look at that, straight into neutral. 
Right. Ugh. What's that back brake? I need a new helmet because my helmet's steaming up a little bit. But it absolutely, it sounds like thunder, this thing. It really does. And it idles so well. Um, it, it doesn't It doesn't really go over much over 84 degrees. I, usually if I'm coming into traffic on it, I'll just shut the engine off if I know I'm going to be standing for a while. These are four-wheel lights as well, or perhaps I should. I don't really like to let them get hot because um, you can end up heating up your electrics and if you're leaving to run hot for so long, heating up your electrics and buggering them up. It's very hot under here, it's a V-twin, they do get hot. Might shut the engine off. Oh, we're, oh, we're going, we're going. Lovely engine. Sounds mega. Come on everybody, get out. Out, 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 out. Oh. Let's do this. Oh, this is actually the driest day I think we've had. At least for six months. I mean, the summer was an absolute complete washout. But this has to be the driest day we've had for a long time. Stop. I definitely got a side wind coming down there. All I can say at the moment on this is I am just lovely and warm. My legs are just so warm, it's beautiful. It's like switching the heater on in the car. Obviously in the summer, my nuts will be cooking. Well, saying that, no, there's no heat under your bummies are like on Ducatis. There's a there's beam shoe up here to your left there. Um, I used to come up here with my granddad, my granddad Alan, quite often. He used to make me a bow and arrow. Every time he'd come to see me, he'd make me a bow and arrow. And he'd, we'd walk together up here and he'd climb a tree get the perfect branch, cut it off and go and make me a bow and arrow up there, it's private land now that is, there used to be a pit uh, vent shaft up there a quick glimpse of this road up there look there used to be houses down here, just on your right here there used to be houses, I think my mum used to live in one just down this road here on your right a second house in where my grandma used to live. That house there. there. 69 window lane next to the Ukraine flag. My grandma used to live there. It's actually still got the same gate on it. I'd love to have a walk around the house. I wonder if any of my viewers are watching and they live there. Look at this though, I am. I'm, I'm, I'm just cruising. A little bit of traffic, leisurely this big v-twin I'm not even phased by the fact that I can't open it up because it's just lovely and smooth it's beautiful which I think I'll take you on a tour of Barnsley shall I I'm not taking you on a tour of Barnsley for ages come on people There's some beautiful buildings around here. Barnsley is my favourite town. And it's just getting better. It's becoming more and more popular now. It's got a great culture here in Barnsley. Great pubs, lots of restaurants. And it's clean. I love all these old buildings. Me and my wife would like a, a townhouse like that. But it's just not practical for... Um, the things I do, obviously. With all the bikes and the painting and stuff like that. Are we on? We're on, Paul. Clutch is nice on this as well. It's not a heavy clutch when you're going through traffic. Oh, God, something stinks. Look at that Toyota. Barnsley College where I studied mechanical engineering to your left 
Barnsley Chronicle there, historic building, look. Got all these old buildings here. Wonderful town it is. I think that's a new um, bar there. I've not been in yet. Oh no. Town Hall, love that building there, Town Hall. Down here, I think it's a stab below. No, is it stab below? There. Um, yeah, it used to be Regent's Park Nightclub. Regent's Park Nightclub, where I used to get all my women. Subway there, is that shut? So we've got Barnsley Cinema to your right. We'll get around this corner. I want to see what's on as well because they put lots of old school movies on at Barley Cinema. I've seen loads of films there. The first cinema I ever, I ever went to. No, the, across here there used to be a big viaduct. Across here where I'm parked now. See so right here we've got the Parkway Cinema. I've seen quite a lot of films there. I've got Monty Python on. See quite a lot of films there. I've seen uh, Indiana Jones, Indiana Jones, and Rambo. Seen that there. To your left there, the Falco Lounge, where we go for breakfast nearly every Saturday. Oh, the scaffolding's come down. All these buildings are getting restored. All these here, apparently, tidying them up. To your left there, that used to be a, um, a main road through town, and to my left here. Market Hill, this is where all the market stalls used to be. Not let that car out. Greedy man I am. Um, what have we got here now? All these restaurants, that, oh, where is it? Flavella. I just see it next to the White Bear pub there, Flavella. That is my favorite restaurant here in Barnsley. Soul Lounge there as well. Where you can get VK ice. Barnsley Library, there used to be, um, what, well, sorry, used to be, well, there was another building there. I used to go in there and buy, well, rent um, loads of war books and battleship books and stuff like that. I was into guns and stuff. All the motion changed now. National tyres here, is that shut down? I can, I can remember I used, used to always go there on my Ducati for my tyres. I think it's closed down. We'll go left. We'll go left past KFC. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Didn't realise he's on camera, did he? I've seen some traffic lights today, haven't I? There's not many big V twins you can super bikes you can just uh, roll around town like this on. At all. Argos used to be down here on your left, and I can remember getting um, walking around there with my X Wing fighter from Return of Jedi. Down here it used to be Argos. I can't remember which one it was now. It's that shot where it says the look. I think it was, yeah. Oh, looks like there's a. Oh, I can smell that steakhouse place. Oh, that's lovely. I might come back in van and get myself a burger. My visor's steaming up. Smell dirt, bit of dirt. Just going past the post office. This is all the back streets, by the way. Nothing special up here. Mason de Beer. It's at Elsica that now, Mason de Beer, if you've seen that sign. There's loads of bars to your left and to your right. There's loads of more pubs up and down here. It's kind of a bit run down now. That building straight in front of it used to be a strip club. I never went in that, it's dirty. 
here to my right used to be Pharaoh's nightclub. To my right there. Pharaoh's nightclub, can I remember that? It was like a, a temple inside an Egyptian temple. Right. Right then, if you ever if you ever come into Barnsley by the way. Um, I'll show you a really good parking spot. Car park we use all the time. Down there, there's the Alhambra car park. But you got the big glassworks car park there, straight into the glassworks, or you go down that road there, and we park in that car park now. You can walk over the bridge straight into town. My granddad, uh, my dad's side, Grandad Douglas, he used to work on Barnsley Canal and I think the canal used to run straight through here. It did. Let people in the car saying what's he fucking pointing at. There's lots to do in Barnsley actually and there's, there's everything you need here. Lots of places to eat, lots of places to drink, lots of places to shop. I'd do another lap round because I enjoyed driving and riding around town but I'm gonna go somewhere else and check my GoPro. Could go to Craig's couldn't I? Oh fucking hell gear I'm in here. Like six gear or something. I think this is the most riding I've ever done on this bike to be honest. More roadworks. All that power comes great responsibility. This road is very, very bumpy. <laughs> it's very bumpy, but the bikes handled it really well. Should should have these bikes in TT, honestly. It is handling the roads very, very well. Now, dare I go left down here near Winterset? This may very well be the wettest road ever. Am I going to regret this? Oh shit, yeah, it's bloody, whoa, proper piss wet through. Should stop being a fanny, really. It's dry. Obviously, we're not going to uh, tonk it down here. You don't know who's around these corners. But even tight twist is this bike for a thousand cc. You know, it, it just glides around corners. Obviously, if that rear shocker was raised, it would help. But get out front end. Oh, it's banging all over this road. It handles it quite well, actually. Only giving it little, little bits of throttle. Look at this road just covered in mud. Oh, she's going to be angry. I'm going to have to wash this bike when I get in. I think uh, when I pull over, I'll just show you the bike. It's going to be all filthy, isn't it? Look like I've been on a dirt track. Come on! Nostal Priory to be left, that's where uh, Rambo goes walking sometimes but he comes back covered in cow muck so we've not gone there for a while. I'm actually going 
the same route as what I did on the ZX7. You saw my little ZX7 ride. Although I'm not going to go through that dodgy farm road because I bet that is minging now. Spread Eagle Pub, I wonder why that's shut down. Well, I'll tell you what, I've done a lot of cruising around town today on this bike. You wouldn't think it, would you? That you can just do that on this. On a big V-twin like this. Dog having herself a little pool there. Go on, lad. Smell chips now. I'm really hungry. I do fancy going out and getting something. Not on the bike, though. I'll probably turn the bike over. What we got here now? What's going on? I've got traffic lights or something. Oh, I can smell exhaust fumes stink on that Jaguar. That smells rich, that Jag. <coughs> Taste it, that. Bloody hell. What engine's in that? Let's take into my little pullover spot, eh? Oh, what bikes have I reviewed here? VTR, I've reviewed Soot in my car. Uh, I showed them a me later, phaser, stuff like that. Pull over here next to this poo. Might have a little look at him. Put me uh, side stand down. Not in that poo though. Oh, right. Let's get his visor up there. Let's make a GoPro face in the right way. There it is. It's not that dirty, actually. See, I've gone through all that muck. Is it a mess? Isn't that such... Just a gorgeous machine. It is such a gorgeous machine. It belongs in the living room <laughs> as well as the road, doesn't it? It's a great design, one of the, I think it's one of the best looking bikes of its time, well engineered. But it is an absolutely stunning machine that. No problem wrong with it. Never give us a, any trouble. Not any electrics burned out, nothing like that. He wants a front tyre though. Front tyre feels like it's a little bit weebly. And apart from that, I just love it. It's just, um, it's a beautiful machine. The frame's looking well since we painted it, if you remember. I'm just silent with it, really. Looks great with the sun glistening off the carbon fibre. I sound like a right shitty old poet, don't I? <laughs> really? It's just so good to look at. I think, um, I mean, all the bikes I've had are nice. Ah! Trudding mud here. Right, April, let's uh, get you up. I feel like taking it home, adjusting the rear shock and the clutch lever and taking it back out for a little blast. Oh no, I'm back in the traffic, I shouldn't have come this way surely. Well I'm going to take the bike home, head for home. And it's been a pleasure to have you here watching my videos. I do thank you for your support. 
I don't get much chance to do many videos lately. But uh, this is a quick little, well, it's a nice little ride on the RSV factory. I'll just show you what I love about it. It's fast, it handles well, sounds awesome, it keeps you warm. And um, it looks gorgeous, doesn't it? It's very reliable. We've never had any problems with this bike at all, ever. In all the two years. So I'll sign off and uh, I'll thank you all for watching. See you next time.